I'm Kelly. And I'm Riley. And we're going to be talking about bare bottle beer today. We're on day... 12. 12. It's only day 12. Day 12. Of shelter in place. Yeah, of shelter in place. <laughs> um, we've been here for a long time and we found out, uh, well, one, we love beer and we love trying beer. So we can't go outside, um, nor can we go to a brewery, nor our local tap room as much as we want to. Northern Republic. Republic. Love it. <laughs> Northern grocery outlet. Um, so we're kind of, you know, at the beck and call of like whatever we get. Luckily, Bear Bottle does um, deliveries for our beer. Oh, love you, Bear Bottle. One, they're one of our favorite breweries in the city. They have like really nice hazy IPAs on tap. Um, really good atmosphere down in Bernal Heights. Um, good selection really of any beer. Okay. Not just, I mean, solid IPA list, but yeah. then there's the sours and the stouts and the pale ales. Their pale ales are really nice. Really good. And yeah. cold brew, you know? If you're like feeling crazy and you want to get some coffee. <laughs> um, so, but luckily, they they sell beer um and then they deliver the beer to you um for areas in san francisco um if order is above fifty dollars easy super easy to do uh -huh. um so got some crowlers and that's what we're going to be trying so um right now we have the amarillo dust um it's a fun hazy ipa do you want um, to tell us about it oh my god i would love to what are the tasting notes mm, there's high levels of mercerin oil what's that i would love <laughs> So, Mir Mer what is it? Mercer. Myrcene. 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 Um, anyway, it's a it's a, a um, hop oil that is um, used in a lot of different types of beers. It's also found in basil, mangoes, and a shrub from Brazil called Merceria. Blah blah blah. It's in um, it. It is in Latin. I'm not going to try and say it. Anyway, it's used to treat diabetes, <laughs> diarrhea, dysentery, and hypertension, and some research has actually shown that it can penetrate the blood-brain barrier as like a good cause for hopefully like an opioid and an antagonist like a naloxone <laughs> or good for cannabis distribution. So anyway, it, that's a, so this is pretty exciting. It honestly sounds like it's medicine. So this is medicine. It's medicine. It's medicine. Mm, yeah. Myrcene is medicine and it's in the beer, it's medicine. This is medicinal beer. It's medicinal this beer. Medicinal I beer. just want people to know that I'm pulling this off Science Direct, the online database, so yes, it is medicine. It is medicine. It's it will not cure direct. coronavirus, but it is medicine. There's one way to find out. One way to find out. We don't even know if we have it. Give us the kiss. One Give us the test. <laughs> I want to test myself. Okay, back to the beer. So what anyway, else do we got? We got some so, fun science oil that makes it smell oil. real good and taste good. And um, then a peachy IPA yeast to create notes of lemon, orange, and grapefruit. So we taste it. we're just excited to try some stuff. Let's yeah, see what happens. Yeah, crack it open. Yes. Also, earlier we tried another one just to like, because we were having burgers and it was a barbecue. It was a rainy yes. barbecue. But that one we tried Brew Romance. Um, I brew romance. So we're. This <laughs> is beautiful. That's it. That's the tasting. Note. <laughs> I loved it. Brew, 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 brew. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Ooh, does it smell as uh, tropical as the one we had the other day? Mm. Or earlier. No, it's not as hazy as the West Coast. It doesn't even. Smells as tropical as that. Mm, but it's got a good end flavor. It's really, Ooh. really nice and smooth. Got that, it's one, nice and hazy to look at. Um, definitely unfiltered, you can tell. And, um, and it's 6.8%. It's 6.8%. It's got a really smooth finish. So really sweet, the front end, and then a nice smooth finish. Not quite like vanilla, but like smooth like vanilla, like that kind the of The brew romance we had earlier had no IBU. That was like straight up milkshake situation. This I feel like has more hops yeah. in it. This is a thing. nice good amount of hops. This is great. Mm, it smells really good too. I definitely, definitely get the, did you say it was peach? Yeah, it's a peachy. Peachy yeast. It is peachy IPA yeast. It's really sweet and it's very nice. Peachy or vanilla, or you still have that milkshakiness, but it definitely has some good just sprinkle, sprinkle of hops on top. Just like a sprinkle, you know? For bitterness hops, I mean. Yeah, I would say is this is a good. Is bittering hop? Let's check it out. I don't, I'm not we sure. Know this. 
We knew. Um, well, we have the internet. We don't need to know any. We don't need to remember. We really anything don't ever. Amarillo hop. Um, I would Not say Amarillo tennis <laughs> Um, it is uh, Amarillo is known for its citrusy variety as well. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, Not a bitter hop. It must be a flavoring hop. It tastes. It tastes very nice, and I think it scratches mm, the itch good. that people would would need in, in terms of like looking for an IPA, but also not too bitter for people that are afraid of IPA. So I think that this is a really good, it's a good gateway. Oh my god, it's a gateway. It's a, gate, it's a gateway IPA. <laughs> but it's it definitely not a drug. It's medicine. It's hella hazy. Tastes mm -hmm. like a New England. This is like if you yeah. ordered this at a bar and wanted a New England hazy IPA, oh. it checks every box. Sometimes you go and you get. I would, do you have any New England hazy IPAs? And they say, sure thing, give you one, and it's very bitter. And you're like, there. Nope. That's you not what I wanted. Miss the mark. I would have gotten a Hefeweizen at this mm -hmm. point, so thank you for being yeah. wrong. But anyway, yeah. yeah, this would for sure, I would be super excited if this came down in front of me. Mm. I'm gonna have another one of this. It's, honestly, it's crushable. It feels very crushable. I feel like the more we drink it, though, it's way... Like even though there's bitters on the back, you're getting more and more of the front really like round fruit milkshake flavors. And so yeah. I don't know if I can have too many of these because it'll kind of, but I've also had two beers already. So <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's just I've had too much beer, but you know, it's like I wouldn't want like three of these. Where the West Coast beer that we had yesterday, I mean, I really the West Coast one that we had yesterday, which was the, um, Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, which was the uh, Pine Star. Pine Star West Coast IPA. Um, so good. Seven really percent. nice. Really nice. So crisp. Uh, unfiltered. Oh no, filtered. Yes. Yeah, it was completely you filtered. See through it. it was really nice. It was really good. But no, this is delish. Yeah, would not be mad if this was. I love it. Um, it's great. Nine out of ten would have again. It's not gonna be my 10 out of 10, but 9 out of 10. No, it's not our 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would happen again, but this is a 9 out of 10 for me. What is it for you? I would say, I would say there is a little bitterness in terms of what I would usually like for a hazy. Really? Yeah. Too much? I think it's a little too much for me. Where or the brew romance, I think, really did it for me earlier. Oh, this one sorry. Brr, 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 brr. This one isn't quite at that level. So I would, I would for sure order it again, but if I was going hazy, this would not be my go-to. Yeah. Yeah, something about, I don't know. It's got a really intense flavor. Yeah. Myersin oil. <laughs> Myersin <laughs> oil. <laughs> medicine beer. It's medicine. I'm getting healthy. Cheers. Mm, cheers. These <laughs> are full beers. Gonna be trying a variety of IPAs today. Um, right now we're trying their Simcoe Stampede and um, this is a West Coast IPA 7% tasting TV. notes up. Nice. Oh, yes. I did. Okay. It took me a while. <laughs> this is my laptop. Wow. Profesh. <laughs> um, do you want to hear about the beer? Yep. Can I sell it the beer? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you're going to experience is we've they've stirred the hops into a Stampede. That's why it's Simcoe Sen Okay. What does stampede mean? Like a stampede of animals or like <laughs> people, <laughs> you know, people getting trampled. Do you want me to look up the definition? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it is full of sweet orange and fresh pine flavors. Oh, so I think you said they made it into a stampede. And I was like, is that a <laughs> beer term? Oh, I literally thought you were asking me the <laughs> definition of the it's like, do you remember the Lion King? I was gonna go with Jumanji because <laughs> that's where he's like, jumping! <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So we understand. We're all, okay. on, we're all on Tell the same me about page. What I'm gonna okay. taste and smell. So Simcoe is one of the most universal hops in the beer world, and I learned this just now. Great. It's for both bittering and aroma. Mm -hmm. So it's a very universal hop. It's Patented by what is his name? Charles Zimmerman. So just like fun history, and it's, it's, yeah. it's exciting. And you knew that. I knew. <laughs> don't mind. It's really popular with home brews and and um, we've used it before. We've definitely used yeah. it before. Oh, cheers! Cheers! Let's smell it. Simcoe Stampede. It's very, 
very full. It's very full. Um, it's very clear. It's very filtered. It smells oh, it's so really good. fresh. It smells like a hazy. It doesn't smell better at all. It really is a nice flavor. Oh, dang. That's a good West Coast beer. Solid West Coast. Really. Ooh, it's so fruity in the front. Very fruity. It's not too bitter. It's not, it's, it's got it's light. It's light. So if you like stone and stuff like that, it, it's a little bit lighter than that, but it still has that nice, I mean, not as bitter, but still bitter taste that you expect in a West Coast. This um, is like, this is as tropical as a lot of New England. I don't have to taste it. I mean, I, I, I oh, think yeah. it's hope, but it, I, it definitely has the bitter, the bitter West Coast piece. It's no, not, not there's bitter. bitter. It's yeah. not citrusy. It is citrusy. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good. So it's a little later tonight and we're kind of full. So we wanted, we wanted like a late night beer as opposed to the hazies that we have in the fridge. <laughs> Quarantine. Got to stock up. Got to stock up. And it, as you can tell, we thought a lot about this. <laughs> Got to stock up. <laughs> So anyway, this is Bear Bottle. What do you think? On a scale of one to 10, where do you find this one on your repertoire? This is definitely an eight. I would for sure get this. The low bitterness, like the low IBU, yeah. makes it so much more enjoyable. A lot of West Coast really would burn my palate because all I drink are hazy New England. I yeah. get all the Give me now. that juice. But with like- Mo juice, more better. But like strong hop flavor too, like a nice hop. No, flavor. this has it. Yeah, no. Like In general, flavor. yeah. I want orange juice. Oh, I like yeah. the hop flavor. I know. I'm just yeah. I'm just saying. I would Can also you... get drunk off this. This is very good. Yeah. It's What's the ACV? Um, it's seven, seven percent. That's yeah. pretty solid. A solid, solid West Coast. This isn't as heavy as um, like some of the IPAs we have in the fridge. Like Animal, even though it's a tropical IPA, is. Harder than this for sure. Is has higher IBUs than this. Yeah. And Four Point prides itself on having highly drinkable beer. That's why you won't have like crazy sours. But I feel like that's their strongest beer. Yeah. And this is definitely lighter than that. This is highly crushable. It's so crushable. Oh my god, what kind of meal would you have for this? Meal? I think this kind of stands alone. This one's hard to pair. I'd have fries for this. Fries? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd have bar food for sure. <laughs> I also just wanted to drink a beer. <laughs> so we don't have to do this crazy. <laughs> we just really want to drink a beer. <laughs> Hi. We're not super into it. It's, um, sorry. Hi. Hi. It is day 16 of quarantine. It's only 16. Yeah, it's day 16 and we just really need a beer. And, um, it's Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. We've been saving this one because we wanted to talk about it because we were really excited. The El Dorado Maximo from Bear Bottle. It's our last and the one that was delivered to us. It's kind of the piece de la resistance because it's a double hazy. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about it. 9%. It's also 9%. However, we just never really got the energy to do this even though we've been home all day. <laughs> Every day for you the past <laughs> 16 days. She kept bringing out more beers because we have to We have to support our local Ooh, brewers. We actually them. really do because no, we tap love them. La local tap rooms. So we went to Richmond Republic, which is down on right. Geary and Six. Geary and Six. They just opened Foghorn Tap Room, which... Um, chicken sandwiches. They have Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. You gotta get it. So good. Go. And they... You got four beers. You got two seven stills. I got two seven stills, um, two seven stills that were a double IPA, seagulls. Yeah, I'll get it. Gulls to the walls. We're not um, two humble sea, um, and the, the two seven stills were double IPA. It was a really nice, it was like almost a vanilla y flavor. It was really sweet for a double, but it was really nice. No, it, it's, I mean, we should try this one too, but it, this is the one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. And, and Sparkling with the ball, but it has sparring, sparring, sparring with the gall. It has a weird, it's like a fermented, it, like milky taste. It's it has interesting. Fermented with Quebec yeast. I'm gonna have to Google that one. Yeah, oh, what it is. We're not Googling things tonight. We're just gonna make Keep wild seeing. speculations. <laughs> Wild speculations. <laughs> okay. Starring the gall. So, so anyway, so we've been bouncing around trying a bunch of different beers. That That's one, yeah. we tried Humble and Sea Socks to Sandals, which is a classic hazy, super nice. And then we also tried, oh, we, we already took out the beer. We drink. drank it. <laughs> we drank all the beer. Except this one. Except for this one. The 
Because it was a lot. Yeah, but now Riley and I are like, end of the day, walk in. I've she's had cleaning. I had to do class, you know. I've already had a beer. I had a walk beer. What'd you have? Um, I had St. Archer. Hazy. Oh. I had a St. Archer Hazy. I know. Classic. I saw you and I literally, at the second <laughs> hour of my class, I was like, fuck this. Online classes are good for one thing. I mean, they're good for a lot of things. I love education. <laughs> you should always brought it in. And home. access to education. I love, I'm not in even. In home. I, yeah. I feel very privileged and I'm very lucky to continue in my graduate program. <laughs> However, at hour two, I was like, <laughs> Video off, beer open. No one, no one cares. No one cares. I continue yeah. taking. This is not law school. This is not what Marky's doing. I'm not in law school. I mean, should we use a pseudonym? Are we not supposed to talk about Marky? Don't. Melissa. Mark. 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 It's just Mark. Mark. Um, <laughs> you know, you say that, but I'm in an MPH program, and we're in a COVID pandemic. And it's never been more prevalent than like <laughs> at this moment right now. I mean, I'm not a virologist, but I feel like it's still kind of up there. I don't know what that is. Just guess. Virologist? A virologist. No. It's a virus. Oh, got it. <laughs> Viral. Virologist. She's on it. She's got it. It's not my degree. It's not my degree. Uh, Kelly also got just, uh, they're not giving out crowlers at these tap rooms. <laughs> they're just giving out to-go beer in the form of a, pl a compostable cup with a lid. It looks like you're getting a lemonade from, <laughs> from like in an hour or something. Or that's the small, the large like that growler is in a, a bigger plastic thing that like pho comes in, it's you know, or like soup, to-go soup comes in. And so is it technically open container? I think yes. the laws are just out the window. No law, we're like, outlawing. We're outlawing. We're outlawed. You can't, we're outlawed. Just in general, being outside is outlawed. But anyway, he said, Piney the Elder, and I said, yes, please. Yeah. I don't even like Piney that much. I mean, I enjoy it. I, everyone enjoys Piney. But I was it's just like immediately, to, yeah, I was like, gotta get it. If Piney's on yeah. tap, it's mine. And I got you a nice, what was it? Pop Freeze from Woods Brewery, which so is good. really yeah. nice, smooth, crisp, hazy, like something really one on a hot day. Very to be fair, the planning you got was way better than it was in my mind. It <sighs> must change so frequently because usually it's yeah. so bitter. I, I like, well, I'm like, why do I like this again? I think <laughs> it's the bottle to the draft. It's the bottle to on the tap, draft. It's, on it's tap, it's so good. That's when you have to get on to yeah. Pliny on tap. I have still yet to get Pliny the Younger though, and I'm just someday. We live very close to Santa someday. Rosa. We've never been, and I just feel like never been there. Never been to the proper brewery. I'm in the Russian River. We went. When did yeah, we went to the cafe? Mark. That's not right. Mark. Can we can we call your name? We can say Marky. We should know if, like you're in law anyway. School. She's in law school. Rules She's eating chocolate what? pretzels. She's a federal day attorney. <laughs> Air bottle. El Dorado Mexico. can't drink alcohol. You're ruining our video, Mark. Get out. We are ruined it. <laughs> okay. I'll take over. Okay. El Dorado Maximo is a, a double, Marky, do you want double know? hazy, a double, a double IPA. Are you IPA, drunk but already? Hazy. No. I'm not drunk. I'm just oh, wicked shit. tired. I'm going to try and do Boston and try and bring that Boston lingo, but other than wicked, I couldn't think of anything, any like Boston. Because you know we're doing hazies and it's New England. Cheers. Cheers. Cheer beer. I never saw your beer first. You just want to go right in there. I put way too much foam on this one. This is a really nice beer. This is like a really, this is a really a great double. <laughs> you should definitely get a straw. Um, it's a really great double. It doesn't have, it's not too bitter because it's a double hazy. So it's a really strong IPA <laughs> flavor. It's not, it, it's a New England double. Yeah, but it's, um, it's pretty see-through. It's very, it looks, di look, not distilled. It looks really filtered. <laughs> um, but it's also, but it, again, not as bitter as you would think for like a, a regular double IPA. It's really smooth. It's got a smooth finish, but it, it's definitely got to end end with flavored hops at the end. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely bitter. 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 Yeah, more bitter than some of the other ones we've been having, but I think it's a great end of the night. The too. double IPA makes it like so sweet. It's cr like it's really more dangerous. Yeah, doubles I find are sweeter than. Oh, I don't mind that. Well, that mm -hmm. was actually pretty sweet. Sparring the gall. This one doesn't have funky flavor. That's the missile. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
good. Though. I enjoy it. It's it's probably my favorite, um, but still really strong flavor. It's I think a good end of the night beer. Not crushable. No, um, it is robust. It's really it's robust. very. It's pretty caramely. That's a great. Like if I had this oh, in the beginning, yeah. I'd be like, Ooh, this is you. like it tastes boozy, borderline like a barrel age because oh, you yeah. get that like kind of like bourbony like, flavor. Smack your lips because it's nice and but it's still really fresh but you can tell it's potent like you can tell it's nine percent but like some of the new england's we've been having are real like fresh six, and seven. bright um yeah this is a sit down like you just finished dinner you're going you're almost going just to go to your, like salad dinner <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, not our taquito dinner that we had we, we went for a walk separate but bitch i have ten thousand steps i I have 10,027. I have 11,000 steps. Wow. I went on three walks today, socially distanced, but three walks nonetheless. You win. It was a long day. <laughs> but back to this. I don't know if I would order this twice, but I would enjoy I would. it, and I'm glad we're splitting it. I'm it's just it. super heavy. It's, he it's definitely heavier than I would. But delicious. I've had doubles that are like really nice, light, and airy. This is for sure like a sitting beer. This is not like a walk-in beer. I think the only I, I don't, don't take this on a walk. I would not take this on a walk. I, I don't. I don't walk. This? Yeah. Nice. I think it's fun. I like the. I like the little the yeast taste. Um, oh. I. Oh, also, we have to keep in mind that this is a couple of days old. So in Crowlers, you're supposed to have it day after two days. Yeah, this is like five and days This old. is about five days old. So, I mean, there could be some effects of the flavor in this capacity, but... But it, it tastes like double. Like, I've had doubles like this before. This almost tastes way more West Coast than New England. Like, from the filterization, you know, it's more robust. It's definitely bitter. Like... I think that that's what they were going like for. It tastes like a West Coast. No, it, it's a double IPA. Um, but it's ha it's not hazy. I don't <laughs> Damn, my brain. It's supposed to be. It has like it's a hazy double IPA. That's what it said. Yeah, that's what so it is. It is a double. Okay, that makes way more sense. It's I was like trying to find it. Yeah. I was like New England double. Oh, I don't know. It's but, definitely not a New England. It's a heavy beer. It's a heavy beer. Oh, I'm gonna get drunk off that. I'm definitely gonna get drunk off this. Cool. Sure beer. Come come meet us next week when we'll try field work beer. Oh yeah, and woods. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Oh, you're gonna go to Woods tomorrow? Yeah. Um, all right. For our local breweries. If you can't drink their beer, most of them have GoFundMe pages where you can support their staff. So support spend their 20 staff. here, spend 20 there. Blah, blah, blah. It's all going to beer. And it's all going to beer. That like beer. And to their paychecks. And yeah. so people are, you know, supported financially. I also signed up for a natural wine club, so we like switched to that. Okay. And the Woods Beer Club. Oh my gosh. Look at your coffee. If you have a club you need money for, I am spending. Don't stop. What's your guzzling face, Riley? 